So you installed your new rain meter skin. It looks like a visualizer. It tells you what song's playing. You're super excited to test it out. You open up Spotify and you start playing the song. And Well, it shows that the song's playing. It shows you the little boopy bars, but it doesn't tell you exactly what song's playing. And the worst part about it is if I press play or go forward, nothing happens. Well, how do you fix that? Fortunately, some crazy guy decided to make a huge application that will fix it for us. Mind you, there are some prerequisites. The first prerequisite is that A, if you are using the Windows Store version of Spotify, you need to uninstall it first. So I am using that, and I'm going to show you how you can figure out. If you type in add or remove programs and press enter, then you type in Spotify. If your Spotify has this big green box, that's a big green indicator telling you to go and uninstall it. If your Spotify just looks like the normal Spotify symbol with like the green on the inside and it's not a square, then you're okay to go. But if you have the Microsoft Store version, which is the one I had, you need to uninstall it. Then you need to go to Spotify.com and download their Spotify setup and you need to download and install that. Now, once you install the non-Microsoft Store version of Spotify, you can also validate it by just typing in Spotify and seeing that there's only a green circle one, no green square one, then you're good to go even further. So what we need to do is we need to go to the first link in the description and you will see this whole bunch of code here. What you need to do is right click it, click save as, and just click save. It'll save a JavaScript file, which is exactly what we want. Now, here's where it gets a little more nuanced and you have to use your thinking cap for a second. If you followed any of my other videos where I show you how to downgrade Spotify and apply Spiceify themes, as of now, as of this current date, you need to use v1 the v1 link that i'll have in the description if you've never themed spotify before then all you need to do is just get the v2 link you just need to copy this bad boy go into your chrome or whatever browser you have and paste it in and you should see this paste bin now all you need to do is just copy all this raw paste data Control c and we need to open up powershell so let's close off chrome and open up powershell press the windows key type in powershell and you need to run it as administrator. So click on run as administrator. It'll pop up with this little shield thing where you need to press yes. And you should see, see Windows System 32. You need to right click and it will start to download the application required to talk to Brain Meter to tell what song is playing and a whole bunch of other information. Now, once you sit around on your computer for a little bit, you'll see this little pop-up that shows up that says, please drag the extension into the extensions folder located at C users username dot extensions. How do you do that? Well, all you need to do is go to your downloads folder, right click on this PC, open it in a new window, drag it over to the left, open up the C drive, open up the users folder, your user folder, mine is no text to speech, open up the .spicedify folder, then open up the extensions folder, and you need to drag in the web now playing JavaScript file that you just downloaded into that folder. Now, once you do that, we can all minimize all this stuff. And all you need to do is just press on the big OK button. Once you do that, it'll do a whole bunch of fancy dancy stuff, and your Spotify should restart and look extremely white and burn your eyes out. I did that on purpose. All you need to do after that is you'll see that Spicedify Apply is still kind of not executed yet, so just press Enter once in PowerShell, and it'll apply all the themes and make it look, you know, not as eye-burningly bright. Now, once you've done that, believe it or not, all you gotta do is click Play, on a song so you gotta hide the announcements that it always makes me force down my throat just press the play button and you'll notice that it now shows the song that i'm currently listening to mind you obviously i, I don't know how to configure this rain meter thing because my brain is absolutely tiny but it now shows the album art it allows me to play it from here go to the next song and pause before i get demonetized for some odd reason and that wraps up the installation portion of the video if it worked like and subscribe and if you want to support the channel even further just turn off your ad blocker when you watch my videos and if for some odd reason it didn't work out for you feel free to leave a comment in the comment section or join my discord and put your issue in the help channel and i will help you out as soon as i can now let's get on to the uninstall portion of the video. So let's say you just want to uninstall this for whatever reason. All you need to do is you just need to go to the start menu, type in PowerShell, uh, maybe spell it close to right, and click run as administrator. Click on the flag thing, press yes, you'll see PowerShell. You just need to go to the description and you will see this uninstall code, and it's literally one line. All you got to do is just copy it, then right click in PowerShell and press enter. And now Spotify will return to its old look. 
Now, what does that mean? Well, if I try playing a song real quick, you'll notice it doesn't do anything for the text. It basically reverts it all back to normal. Now, if you want to delete the files, so you 100% have a fully uninstalled Spicetify, all you need to do is just go back to your downloads folder, go to this PC, open up your C drive, then go to users, no text to speech, and delete the .spicetify folder. And once you delete the .spicetify folder, just delete the spicetify-cli folder. And once you do that, Spotify is completely back to normal, and you don't have to worry about Spicetify, even though you, you shouldn't be worrying about it. It's a fantastic program. Anyways, that's all. Love you, son. Mwah! Good night.